So something huge that was spe- so spoken about in season one is the Earth was screaming to Cole, and I'm curious, is it still screaming to him? We haven't really got any new information, but if anything is correct, from what we know about Cole and where he left off in season one um, to the mech pilot shorts, we do know this. We are not going to go and get any brand new information out from Cole at all, because Cole doesn't know what happened to Evil. Now, when Cole went to go follow the Master Whisperer, he doesn't know or remember anything, or mustn't, he hasn't sort of, um, built up the courage in him to talk about it. Now, is this understandable from Cole's perspective? Yeah, I, I could definitely see that happening with Cole. Now, to be honest with you, um, I don't think Cole would have had the chance if he hasn't gone through his head. I'm someone that um, I I have to think about what's actually happened. And knowing Cole, he's probably seen a whole bunch of stuff and he needs to... He's not a robot like Zane and takes it all in. Maybe he'll mention a bit to Zane to see what he thinks and... uh, Maybe eventually in part two, we'll get an understanding. But I do think season three will definitely explore the couple of vibes that we are miss- at. The, the missing puzzle pieces. Um, Cole's uh, obviously a great character. And I want to see where the future of Ninjago takes him. Um, but obviously next season's expo- gonna ex- season three will... I know it's too early to talk about season three. But season three will explore a lot of different... Inter- interweaving storylines that could connect the administration housing got into um that um little uh but thing um maybe exploring why caught the earth is screaming that that can all be connected maybe to the administration remember it is in the realm of madness so yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and share with others. Thank you all for watching. Peace out.